Hello everyone, my name is Karen Williams and the topic of my persuasive speech is the importance of wearing your safety belt. And my target audience is or would be a safety driving class. It was January 2013 and I had set reasonable goals for myself or at least I had thought. I had even set the new year off right and hiked a five mile hike through the woods victoriously on January 1st. But as we know, life sometimes takes an unexpected turn and throws you for a loop, reminding you that nothing is certain in an uncertain world. I remember it was cold and rainy that Tuesday morning, but other than the weather, nothing was much different than any other morning as I set off for work. I kissed my loved ones goodbye and I headed out the door with my favorite coffee mug in hand, filled to the brim with piping hot coffee just the way I like. Now, I took the same route I always take to work in the mornings, nothing different, merging onto the interstate. Uh, traffic's always congested at that time of the day, so I knew enough to slow down, especially due to the weather, and to keep enough distance between me and the car ahead of me. But what I couldn't calculate was what the car behind me or the car ahead of me was going to do. All I know is all of a sudden the car ahead of me suddenly slammed on brakes. I immediately hit my brakes. The first panic struck me as I fought not to hit this car ahead of me. And then relief because I missed hitting this shiny brand new BMW by about that much. And then BAM! The car behind me slammed my car so hard that even though my foot was still on the brake, I still managed to hit that car ahead of me. Coffee went flying everywhere. But luckily, I was wearing my seatbelt or else as my best friend stated, that could have been your blood I was cleaning up instead of just coffee. You never know when the driver of a car is going to decide that they're late for work and they're going to run a red light. Or the person at the bar has had one too many beers and they're going to decide to take the same route home as you are. Tell me, is that a chance that you're really willing to take? I mean, I was wearing my seatbelt at the time of my accident, but what if I hadn't been? I mean, what impact would this have had on my own injuries? Did you know that according to the CDC or the Center for Disease Control that in 2009 more than 23 million adult drivers and their passengers were treated in an emergency room for injuries related to car accidents? This simply goes to show that it's not uncommon to be involved in a car accident. And when an accident does happen, not wearing your seatbelt can make your injuries even that much more worse. According to the CDC, Wearing your seatbelt can reduce serious injury or even death by up to 50%. Now, I don't know about you, but that 50% sure does sound a lot better than the statistics of not wearing your seatbelt at all. According to the Center for Accident Research and Road Safety, you are 10 times more likely to be killed in a car crash if you're not wearing your seatbelt. And the National Highway Traffic Statistics state that seatbelts save 15,000 lives in the U.S. alone each year. Now that's pretty remarkable. So that's why I stress the importance of wearing your seatbelt each and every time you're inside a moving vehicle. A car accident can happen at any moment. Even if you think to yourself, hey, I'm just going down the street. It's not far. Accidents can happen at any time. You should always be prepared, be prepared for the worst to happen. You never know when that moment it might occur. I mean, I surely didn't think that moment or that morning, hey, this is the morning that I plan on being in a car accident. No one plans for these things to happen. They just happen. So, always wear your seatbelt because the reality is, is that you don't want to be caught dead without it. Thank you.